Today, two local high schools look to push into the next round of Lakeshore Public Media's annual academic tournament that we call Making the Grade. Will it be Chesterton or Portage? You'll find out next because we're just moments away from this edition of Making the Grade. Program support comes from NIPSCO. Honey, who is this guy? Oh, that's Frank. Hey, Frank. <laughs> Honey, why is Frank in our bedroom? He's showing us ways to save money. Plus, he'll even help us install LED bulbs and new shower heads. Oh, well, he is leaving before I shower, though, right? To schedule an energy assessment and learn more about energy usage, visit NIPSCO.com. Frank, could you hand me a towel? Lakeshore Public Media and Making the Grade are supported by Chick-fil-A, proudly serving our Northwest Indiana community, helping to support education and developing young minds. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, located in Merrillville, in front of the South Lake Mall. It's season number seven of Lakeshore Public Media's annual academic tournament that we call Making the Grade. Hi, I'm your host, Andy Schultz. And today, eight of the best and brightest students in all of Northwest Indiana look to advance their school into the quarterfinals of our tournament. What's at stake for the winner of that tournament? Well, the Making the Grade Championship trophy, as well as scholarship money provided by NIPSCO. Who will it be today? Will it be Chesterton or Portage? We'll know in about 20 minutes or so who advances to the quarterfinals and we'll have a chance to meet our contestants a little bit later in the show, but we're gonna get this game started right now and some points on the board with our first round that we call questions and answers. It's pretty simple. I give the questions, you give the answers. Five points for a correct response. There's no penalty if you are incorrect. We'll just give the other team a chance at those five points. So hands on buzzers and let's get this game started right now with our first five point clue. What holiday's place on the calendar was assigned by Congress because Abraham Lincoln's birthday and George Washington's birthday were Allie from Portage. President's Day. President's Day is correct, and Portage is on the board first with five points. Here's another clue. What five-letter word can be both the part of a business divided into shares or a generic... Keegan from Chesterton. Stock. Stock. Stock is correct, and we are tied at five points apiece. Next clue. In tennis... What call does the umpire make if you serve before your opponent is ready? They call it, we get in time? Nope, sorry about that, Allie. They call it a let. I didn't know that. I thought that was something else, but either way. No points awarded there. Here's your next clue. This book about the French Revolution begins with the line, it was the best of times. Nate from Chesterton. A tale of two cities. Is correct. Five more points. And nice job there, Nate. Quick on the buzzer. Its closing lines include, we will speed up that day when all of God's children will sing free at last, free at last. Thank God Almighty we are free at last. Give the four... Alley from Portage. I have a dream. I have a dream is correct. The forward title of a 1963 speech by Martin Luther King. Well done. And we're tied at 10. What south central part of Oregon shares its nickname with the less populated internal wilderness of Australia? Keegan from Chesterton. Outback. Outback is correct. Five more for the Trojans. What British author is best known for one story about a boy who ends up living in New York's Central Park and another story about a boy whose life is changed by a golden ticket? Mark from Chesterton. Ronald Dahl. Uh, that's right. Dahl is the, was the correct answer. Roald Dahl. No in there, but that's correct. We'll give you the last name, which is what we're looking for. Five for Chesterton. And we march forward. Shay's Rebellion. In 1786 and 1787 showed the limitations of the Articles of Confederation, and a group was quickly put together to create what governing document we still use today. Keegan from Chesterton. The Constitution. That is correct. Five more points for Chesterton, and you lead by 15. A plant may contain this chemical element in its cell wall. Name this element also found in the chips within your computer. 
Keegan from Chesterton. Silicon. Silicon is correct, abbreviated SI. Five more for Chesterton, you have 30. One thing Thomas Jefferson learned about architecture is that you can illuminate a room without windows or light bulbs if you install what object in a hole in the ceiling? Keegan from Chesterton. The aperture. Uh, incorrect. Portage. Give you a couple seconds. No guesses there. Looking for a skylight. Skylight. Kind of a design question, I guess. All right. <laughs> Five points coming your way here. Walking tours in this city include the Casa Rosada, that, that is home to its country's president, and the neighborhood considered the home of Tango, named this capital of Argentina. Paul from Portage. Buenos Aires. That is correct. Five points for Portage, and you cut the deficit to 15. Lemon, butterscotch, and chocolate are all popular flavors of pudding. Spell the word pudding. Keegan from Chesterton. P-U-D-D-I-N-G. Well done. Five more points for Chesterton. In the 1500s, it took over the western part of Bolivia. Name this civilization from neighboring Peru that built a city named Cusco. Nate from Chesterton. Uh, the Incas. Incas, correct, for five more for Chesterton. And you have 40. And after one round of play, that 40 is 25 points ahead of Portage's 15. But there's plenty of points coming your way a little bit later in the game. We're going to pause the game now and take a few minutes to meet some of our contestants. Going to start on the Chesterton side and talking to Hannah, who is a senior at Chesterton High School. Hannah, it says that you like to learn musical instruments. You just like to keep learning more and more. Do you teach yourself? Uh, yeah, I actually taught myself how to play the oboe a few years ago. I'm working on guitar right now. Nice. Taught so myself usually, sax. Usually you hear I taught myself the piano, but not oboe. That's good. Yeah. Nice. Well done on that. So what is your like favorite one to focus on? Um, I like playing the guitar the best so far, but um, my main instrument's the clarinet. Awesome. Thanks, Hannah. Nate is a senior at Chesterton High School, and you're going to study biochemistry, right? Yes, sir. What do you want to do with that? Uh, I want to eventually go into pharmacology and make medicine. All right. And then that sounds really serious, but you mm -hmm. also listed a hobby as making sandwiches. Yes, sir. And I, that's the first time I've seen that on the personnel uh, sheet there. So thanks for being the first at that. Do you make sandwiches every day, twice a day, three times a day? I mean, as often as possible, really. That's good. That's good. Good to have hobbies, Nate. Thank you. Keegan is a senior at Chesterton, an all-senior team, in fact. Uh, you're going to study mathematics at IU Bloomington, right? Yeah. What do you want to do with that? Um, I'm really interested in mathematics, just like all branches. That can be statistics or calculus, all of them. But I kind of want to go more into applied maths and see where I can go with that. Great. And you're a dual citizen through Canada, yeah. right? Awesome. On my mom's side. Excellent. Well, glad to have you, Keegan. You're the first dual citizen I can remember on the show. And Mark is a senior as well. You're going to study at the University of Cal Berkeley. How did you end up uh, landing there? That's a really good question. After a lot of considerations, I decided to go there just because of the social activism I see on campus a lot of times. It will really help me with a degree in political science or global studies. Very good. Very, very good. Good aspirations. Mark, congratulations on getting here, and good luck the rest of the way to the Chesterton team. They are coached by Anna Zervos. Visiting now on the Portage side with Christian, who is a junior. And uh, Christian, you work with computers, you like to work with computers, and it says you also used to have 13 dogs. Now, when you have 13 dogs, can you keep track of all of them? Well, um, they were puppies mostly, so we pretty much had no idea what most of the names were at mm -hmm. some point. They got pretty mixed up. They didn't come with a birth certificate? Not quite. <laughs> you get to choose what they're named, though. Yeah. It'd be hard to keep track of. They were uh, all the same color, and they were all uh, little black labs, so it was uh, kind of hard to keep it's track. It's really challenging. Christian, nice to meet you. Haley is a sophomore at Portage High School, and you went to space camp. Now, I got to know about this. When I was a kid, I, was, I would see the commercials for space camp, and I always wanted to go. My parents would never let me go, but you got a chance to live my dream. Um, actually, I got to go twice. I went once in eighth grade, and then once for this past spring break. Um, from school and it's just a really interesting and fun experience we built rockets we did different engineering challenges it was just really awesome that's awesome you're living my dream <laughs> cool Haley good to meet you Allie a senior at Portage you're gonna study at IU Bloomington yep. next year and you want to be a part of the DEA drug enforcement tell me a little bit how you got into that well my cousin is a DEA agent and my whole family is uh, involved with law enforcement and it was really my upbringing that brought me to 
want to make a difference there. Nice. Well, very good. Keep it up. You'll go places. Thank you. Paul is a junior at Portage, a member of the JROTC, and you want to study at uh, the U.S. Naval Academy. How did you land on that? Well, um, I, was just, I wanted to join the military because my grandfather and my uh, whole family has been in the military, so I just wanted to serve my country and get a good education while I was doing it. Awesome. Very, very good. Thanks for doing that. Good luck the rest of the way to the Portage team. They are coached by Kathy Nye. We continue on with our game. More five-point questions coming your way in our next round that we call Pop Quiz. This is a one-on-one -on -one competition. No conferring with teammates here. We'll go down the row. It'll be Paul versus Mark, Keegan versus Allie, Haley and Nate, Hannah and Christian. One question apiece. We'll cycle around until we finish the round. So the first five-point clue in this one for Paul and Mark. Scientists recently discovered a second species of this animal on one of the Galapagos Islands. Name this large and slow animal that, unlike a turtle, Paul from Portage. A tortoise? Tortoise is correct. Five points for Portage, and you cut the deficit to 20. For Keegan and Allie, what Union general drove his men through the Carolinas in early 1865 after making Savannah, Georgia a Christmas gift to Abraham Lincoln? Keegan from Chesterton. Grant? Uh, not Grant. Allie, want to take a shot at that? Sherman. Looking for William T. Sherman. All right. Haley and Nate, five-point clue for you. What folk song includes the verse, Father and I went down to camp, along with Captain Gooding, and there we saw the men and boys as thick as hasty pudding? Yankee Doodle, and that's the second pudding reference on this edition, <laughs> making the grade. All right, Christian and Hannah, this one's for you. American authors William Faulkner and Joyce Carol Oates have won what award for short stories named for the author of The Ransom of Red Chief and The Gift of the Magi? Looking for the name of the award. The O. Henry Award. O. Henry Award. Back to Mark and Paul for you. Complete the cycle of reproductive stages of a frog. Egg, blank, froglet, frog. Mark from Chesterton. Tadpole. Tadpole is correct for five more. For Chesterton, you're up to 45. For Keegan and Allie. World War I was a conflict in which the Allies, which included Britain, France, Russia, Italy, and the United States, fought against this alliance of countries that included Germany, Austria-Hungary, Keegan from Chesterton. The Axis powers. Oh, that's incorrect. Allie, I'm going to give you a chance and I'm going to finish it for you. Countries that included Germany, Austria-Hungary, Bulgaria, and the Ottoman Empire. Go ahead. I wanted to say the Triple Alliance. Uh, that's incorrect. We were looking for the Central Powers. The other World War, Keegan, no problem there. After two rounds of play, Chesterton leads 45 to 20 in a good game so far. But many points coming your way here in our third round that we call Class Project. This is group work. If you want, you can work together. I will read three clues that all point toward the same answer. After one clue, if you get it correct, it's worth 30 points. 20 points after two clues, and a correct response gets you 10 after all three clues are read. You can guess after each clue. All right, here we go. Your 30-point clue, the category is literature and language arts. Three clues, one answer. Here we go. This character leaves the South Pacific island of Cocovoco to see the white man's world. All right, here's your 20-point clue, same answer. Eventually, he has a coffin built for himself that acts as a life raft in the ocean and saves the life of his novel's narrator, Ishmael. Allie from Portage. Moby Dick. Uh, that's incorrect. Chesterton. Go ahead, Keegan. Captain Ahab. Uh, that's incorrect. Here's your 10-point clue, same answer. He is the harpooner for the mate Starbuck in Herman Melville's novel, Moby Dick. Mark from Chesterton. David. Uh, incorrect. Portage. Queequeg, looking for Queequeg. All right, 
Social studies is the category for three more clues pointing toward one answer. Here we go, here's your 30 pointer. This city became known for manufacturing after Henry Frick developed an oven that converted coal into the coke needed to make steel. Hannah from Chesterton. Detroit. Uh, not Detroit. Portage, couple seconds here. Here's your 20 point clue. It was built where the Allegheny, Ohio, and Monongahela rivers meet. Mark from Chesterton. Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the steel city is correct. 20 points for Chesterton. Go ahead and jiggle that buzzer just a little bit there. We'll see if we can get it. Hey, there we go. That's right, 20 points for Chesterton and they extend their lead to 45. All right, well done. Final three clues of this round all pointing toward one answer. The category is science and math. Here's your 30 pointer. One of its main flexor muscles is the biceps brachii. Here's your 20 point clue. Its injury by overuse is associated with golfers and tennis players. Haley from Portage. Your elbow? Elbow is correct. If that was a guess, it was a good one. 20 points for Portage, and that ends our third round of play where Chesterton leads by 25 in a close game, and there's plenty of points coming your way here in our final round. It's called Final Exam. Six categories, five questions each worth 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30 points respectively. We will answer them in that order. The team that controls the board is the team that last answered correctly, except for this first time around. I'm going to allow Portage to choose the first category because you trail at this point in the game. So, where would you like to start with a 10 point clue? I don't see any categories up there. We'll see if we can, <laughs> they're coming, I know they are. Hey, there they are. All right, six categories you can see. 10 point clue, where would you like to start? Um, well, like starts with M. Starts with M, here's a 10 point clue in that category. This word came to English from Italian for the makeup that's used to darken and lengthen Keegan from Chesterton. Mascara. Mascara is correct. 10 points for Chesterton. You control the board. You can stay there for 15 or go somewhere else. Uh, do you want to go with it? Let's just go with it. Let's continue with starts with M. Starts with M, a 15 point clue. Once called flammable air by Ben Franklin, it is often Paul from Portage. Methane. Methane is correct. The chemical formula, CH4, liquefied natural gas. Yes, Paul. 15 for you, you have the board. Um, Trailing by 20. Stay with us, stay um, Start with M. Starts with M, a 20 point clue. This New York island is said to have Paul from Portage. Manhattan. That is correct. 20 more points for Portage and you control the board. 25 in that category, all right. Starts with M. Several phyla of protists have names that end in mycota, meaning they contain this type of organism that might be found in a dirty bathroom. Christian from Portage. Bacteria? Incorrect, I'll give Chesterton a chance. Nate, go ahead. Mold. Mold is correct. 25 points for Chesterton and you lead by 25. Where would you like to go? You have one more clue in that category or go elsewhere. You want to wrap it up, 30 points. Starts with M, that'll end the category. This Herman Melville novel, Keegan from Chesterton. Moby Dick. Incorrect, I'll finish it for Portage. This Herman Melville novel about a whaler who abandons his ship to explore the South Pacific shares its name with the French word for Tuesday. Marty, looking for Marty on that one, all right. I heard Melville too, I thought the same thing. Okay, I believe Chesterton controls the board, yes? Does that sound right? All right, go ahead, where would you like to go? Greek myth. Yeah. Sounds good. Where to? We'll take Greek myth for 10. Greek myth, good, and if there's one person that just wants to choose categories for your team, that would, that would uh, streamline that a little bit. All right, Greek myth, it's a 10 point clue. This archer was also the god of music and Nate from Chesterton. Apollo. Apollo, yes, 10 points in Greek myth. Where would you like to go? Keep going. Yeah. We'll keep going They're gonna keep Greek going, myth. 15 points in Greek myth. Perseus got a wedding present for his stepfather by obtaining the head of this Gorgon, Nate from Chesterton. Medusa. Medusa, yes, 15 more and you're on a roll. Stay there? Yep. All right, 20 points, Greek myth. In the myth of Hades and Persephone, this goddess of the harvest was very sad 
Nate from Chesterton. Demeter. Demeter, yes, 20 more, and you've swept the category so far. There's two more clues there. Keep All right, going. we're going to do it. 25, Greek myth. Considered the source of both earth and heaven, this location's five-letter name is still used today to mean a state of total and disastrous disorganization. Keegan from Chesterton. Chaos. Chaos, yes, and an adjective for my life. Thank you, Keegan, 25 for you. Where would you like to go? Let's keep going. All right, 30, we'll wrap up Greek myth. This subject of two plays by the Greek writer Euripides is almost sacrificed to the gods by her father, I'm, a, I'm sorry, <clears throat> Agamemnon. Agamemnon, it's a hard one there. Subject of two plays by the Greek writer Euripides is almost sacrificed to the gods by her father, Agamemnon. Iphigenia, Iphigenia, that's, let's go somewhere else. I mean, that one's done anyways, but that's got hard words in it, guys. Cities and rocks, Venus Island and rocks. Venus cities. Right. Where would you like to go, cities. Chesterton? Cities. 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 cities, cities, all right. U.S. cities, 10-point clue. One branch of this major trail of the mid-1800s followed the Cimarron River. This, the trail ended in what is now the capital of New Mexico. Nate from Chesterton. Albuquerque? Uh, incorrect. Portage. Looking for the Santa Fe Trail. Santa Fe Trail. All right, Chesterton. Or two. Stay there or go elsewhere. Choose it. They're going to stay there, correct? Mm -hmm. U.S. Yeah. Cities, 15. Mark Twain is quoted as saying, The coldest winter I ever spent was a summer in this California city, whose, temperature, whose temperate climate is due to its being near its namesake bay. Mark from Chesterton. San Francisco. San Francisco. 15 points for Chesterton. And one more time on the buzzer there. Sorry about that. All right, you control the board. Yeah, stay there. All right, staying there. U.S. cities, 20 points. The White House of the Confederacy was located Paul from Portage. Richmond, Virginia. That is correct. 20 points for Portage. And you're up to 95. Where would you like to go? Um, stay there. Stay there. 25 points, U.S. cities. This home of North Dakota State University is the largest city in that state. Paul from Portage. Bismarck. Incorrect. Chesterton. Nate. Pierre. Not Pierre. We were looking for Fargo. Fargo. All right, Portage, stay there or elsewhere? Far East. Far East, 10 points. The recent book, Daughters of the Samurai, is about three girls who came to America from this country, where Samurai, Haley from Portage. Japan. Japan, yes, 10 points for you there. What would you like to do, Portage? Trailing by 80. Architecture. Architecture, 10 point clue. Architect Frederick Law Olmsted, who designed the landscape around the U.S. Capitol building, is most famous today for designing this park in New York City. Paul from Portage. Central Park. Central Park, yes, 10 points. What would you like to do? Um, rocks. All right, rocks, a 10 point clue. Basalt, granite, and pumice. Keegan from Chesterton. They are um, volcanic rocks or igneous. Can I take that? No, I can't, sorry. Go ahead, Allie. Uh, incorrect, the answer was igneous rock solely. I just, I know I, I'm with you, I was tracking with you, but uh, either way. All right, Portage, your board, where would you like to go? U.S. Cities, 30-point clue there. This Nevada town developed in the late 1850s after silver was discovered in the nearby Comstock Load. Paul from Portage. Las Vegas. Uh, incorrect. Nate from Chesterton. Carson City. Not Carson City. They were looking for Virginia City. Had me on that one. All right, whose board was that? It is Portage. That is correct. Thank you. Far East history. All right, Far East history, 15-point clue there. In the early 1400s, Admiral Cheng Ho led expeditions to Indonesia, India, and Eastern Africa on behalf of this country. Paul from Portage. China. China, yes, 15 points for Portage. You trail by 55. Two minutes left to go in the game. Where to? Rocks. Rocks. Ten, or pardon, 15-pointer there. This sedimentary rock is a soft form of calcium carbonate. Paul from Portage. Limestone. Incorrect, I'll finish it for Chesterton. The soft form of calcium carbonate often found near school blackboards. Keegan from Chesterton. Chalk. Chalk, yes, although you won't find a chalkboard too often anymore. It's all markers. 15 points for Chesterton, you control. Where to? Let's continue with rocks. And rocks, it's 20. 
The meteorite NWA7034, nicknamed Black Beauty, looks to have come from the crust of this planet whose rocks may be covered by a thin layer of red dust. Paul from Portage. Mars. Mars, yes, 20 points for Portage. Your board, you trail by 50. One minute in the game. Architecture. Architecture, 15 point clue. Diocl <clears throat> Diocletian rebuilt the Temple of Saturn and Temple of Vesta in this rectangular plaza, famed for its architecture whose ruins are visible even today. Paul from Portage. The Parthenon. Incorrect, Chesterton. The Roman Forum, Roman Forum, seconds left to go in the game. Far East History, 20. Once called the Malay Archipelago by the Dutch who governed it between Paul from Portage. Malaysia? Uh, incorrect, I will finish the question. By the Dutch who governed it between 1602 and 1949, this country's dictators since then have included both Sakarto and Saharno. Mark. Cambodia. Not Cambodia. We're looking for Indonesia. And that's the end of our game. Chesterton will advance to our quarterfinal round. Final score in this one, 200 to 150. A great game played by all contestants, both schools. Thanks for representing your school well today. That'll do it for this edition of Making the Grade. We will see you next time.